Okay, so let's export this to Sketchfab. And it's as simple as going to File, Export Textures, and selecting the Sketchfab template. The max size for Sketchfab free accounts are is 50 megabytes. So you might get away with 2K, but most of the time 1K is what you want to aim for. Let's try 2K and see the size first. So I'll export that. I'll add my email and password. And now give it a title and description and upload. Once it's done, it will start uploading and it will be processed in a few minutes. Okay, and here we have it. It's in Sketchfab. Another place you can also um, upload your models, uh, and that's good for advertising, is uh, Sansar. I don't know if you've heard of Sansar. And it's, um, it's like Second Life. It's from the same creators. And I've been I've been there every now and then, and that that's a good place where you can create stuff and then share it. Now, as we seen in the beginning of the video, uh, the series, the IV poles they were like nine and ten dollars. Uh, most of them already had the little serum bag, so because I, we don't we haven't done that, I'm gonna do eight dollars and use that so I'll save changes and I'll leave it at eight dollars now if you don't make it a free mo uh, if you make it a free model if you don't allow download uh, you only have and you don't have a free account I think you can only do that once a month or something like that I can't rem really remember right now but make it payable even if it's just one dollar so you can upload as many as you want if you haven't heard of Sansar Sansar is a great place to share your creations you can even create your own avatar uh, your own character and then walk around with it in uh, inside the world of Sansar so ever ch check out Sansar if you haven't already there's a lot of cool stuff in there and there's a lot of cool stuff you can create you can create up to 20 worlds and you can open your own shop and sell stuff like sell stuff there Thank you for watching this series. I apologize for the lengthy videos on this series and uh, for some of the stuff that I was uh, showing you guys. I was testing it myself, so I'm kind of like learning as I'm teaching. Now, I'll do another playlist soon where I'll share with you guys the um, character creation process that I'm going through. And it's a process where I use character creator uh, from Reillusion and I clone for animation and the creation of a character. And it's a process that has been saving me a lot of time because there's no need to rig uh, the characters, uh, if they're humanoids, of course. And animation is a lot easier. I mean, any anyone that, even if you're not really an animator, you can animate really easy with iClone. So I'll be sharing that process with you guys uh, very soon. So see you in the next one.